Okay, hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne. Uh, the title of this teaching is Things That Hinder Personal Prophecy Coming True. Uh, okay, there's, uh, there's a number of things that can hinder a personal prophecy coming true. Number one, uh, I could say uh, that uh, it's a hindrance to growth in the Lord is uh, spiritual and, and personal pride. Uh, it says in Scripture, uh, in James, that, uh, James 4, it says uh, that God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. Uh, if you've uh, got pride in your life, God will resist you. He's certainly uh, not going to have a personal prophecy fulfilled in your life until you humble yourself or allow God to humble you in the fire and chastisement of the Lord. Okay, So that's one thing that can hinder a personal prophecy coming to. If, uh, if a personal prophecy has directional words in it, tells you certain things to do, you've got to spend more time in the Word of God or spend more time in prayer or apply for this job or do this or do that. Whatever a personal prophecy says, if you don't do those things, that'll hinder a personal prophecy coming true. You can't become a general in an army and lead a war in a, a war against another nation and be the leader of a war against another nation unless first you've fought in a, in, in, uh, as a sergeant and been promoted through the ranks of authority and, and bigger and bigger authority until you're all the way to a general. Um, you just can't become a general without plenty of experience. So true. You, you hinder a personal prophecy if you're not uh, capable and you're not uh, willing to serve the Lord in a little way. You know, he that, he that uh, doesn't despise small beginnings is, uh, is a scripture. Don't despise small beginnings. You need to begin small and uh, not despise the small beginnings. If you do despise the small beginnings and you just want the big lofty prophecy to come true, the fact is it's not going to come true. You can't become the biggest evangelist in your country until you're the biggest evangelist in your city. You can't become the biggest evangelist in your city unless you start evangelizing somewhere. You can't become an experienced evangelist without knowing the Word of God and without knowing culture and society and the way people think. If you're not prepared to read the Word of God, you're not prepared to know how current society thinks, you're not going to be able to apply the Word of God and be able to deliver a message that convicts the hearts of the ordinary folk in your community. So the steps to take in order to have a prophecy fulfilled in your life, and if you're not prepared to take those steps, if you're disobedient and or silly, uh, that will hinder a personal prophecy coming true. Um, un, uh, an unhealthy uh, uh, sexual lifestyle, an unhealthy spiritual uh, sinful lifestyle will hinder a personal prophecy coming true. God doesn't like to uh, promote sin. God doesn't like to promote people stuck in uh, bad sin. Of course he can promote them but it will hinder a personal prophecy coming true. Uh, a life of holiness and obedience to God's word is something that will encourage a prophecy coming true. Uh, another thing that can hinder a personal prophecy coming true it's for you to show it to a couple of people and a couple of people convince you that that personal prophecy isn't true. If you show it to uh, unfaithful people and the unfaithful people speak deaf into that prophecy and you receive that deaf and you receive that it's not true, that will hinder that personal prophecy coming true. Uh, the only way that that can be corrected in a lot of instances is for someone else to prophesy over you and for you to have faith in the new prophecy. Uh, there's uh, many things that can hinder a personal prophecy coming true. You can, uh, you can um, try and uh, fulfill the prophecy yourself and uh, make a mistake and then give up on the personal prophecy because it seems that the personal prophecy wasn't true. So if you try and self-fulfill with the arm of the flesh a personal prophecy, you can hinder a personal prophecy coming true because you can decide that it wasn't a true word. Well, God likes to lead the steps. The righteous man's steps are ordered by the Lord and you need to take your steps off the Lord and step by step he'll lead you into the personal prophecy. But if you're not prepared to do the work, 
if you're not prepared to, uh, uh, to take steps, uh, baby steps and then bigger steps, and then be promoted into the personal prophecy fulfillment, uh, then you'll hinder it. Uh, I hope that uh, this has given you an example. I'm sure uh, a more experienced prophet than myself could uh, give more light on this subject. Uh, subject uh, a book that I'd suggest is uh, uh, Prophets and Personal Prophecy by Dr. Bill Hammond. Um, he shares a lot more than what I have in this video series. Hope that uh, you can watch other videos in this series that I've got and uh, I pray that uh, you can come to our Personal Prophecy website and request your own Personal Prophecy and I pray that you might email me and tell me uh, something encouraging about what you've learned. Um, until next time, I hope you learn plenty and uh, be good in God.